let's have a look uh, at the upgrade uh, in a week. Um, it's definitely not new or unique, but you don't see it that often. Uh, I have done upgrades before in one week, but that was at way smaller customers because now it was at one of the larger uh, financial companies in the Netherlands. Okay. And, um, yeah, here's a bit how their landscape is. Uh, they've got six, six instances. Well, most of the times a bit more uh, because of temporary instances for backups, restores, whatever. But usually they have set six instances. Uh, the production uh, database footprint is seven terabytes. That's already after working on the database footprint. Because if I wouldn't have done that, it would now probably be about 14 or 15 terabytes. Um, there are about 35 developers involved. Almost 300 ATF tests active, uh, almost 750 instance scan checks. Okay. Um, yeah, and all kinds of things uh, happening there. The normal ITSM, uh, ITOM, GSC, uh, HR, uh, Software Asset Management Pro, etc. So, um, yeah. So it's um, a very mature customer with respect to service now. Uh, um, in a lot of cases, yes. Obviously, I'm now at the customer, so you also see some things that are not so mature. But, <laughs> but uh, no, uh, it's a, it's a serious customer, a big customer, uh, and uh, also security is on a pretty pretty high level. So uh, that's uh, that's pretty pretty nice to to see. Okay. And it's a, this is a bit about um, yeah the, the 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 landscape of that customer. Yeah, and then if you look high level at the activities involved of, of the upgrade, uh, well, first, some things of before the upgrade. Um, I listed some uh, activities here. Maybe uh, you have more activities that are involved. That's definitely possible. This is, this is not an extensive uh, uh, list. Okay. Uh, but for me, and also for this customer, um, the most ideal situation, if you uh, are you if you are before the upgrade, that you are already upgrading an actual instance, a sub production instance that you have available, like a demo instance or a sandbox, and that you are already really upgrading it, and then you already see like, hey, how long is the upgrade taking? Um, you can already start your ATF, so your instance can, and are there issues popping up? You can do checks on known issues from from before uh, and you can also just do that anytime so there's no real time time pressure to do that okay if that's not possible because not every customer has an extra instance available uh, then you can use uh, upgrade preview i will also show that uh, in the demo uh, but okay. the most ideal situation would be to already upgrade one instance so yeah you really see what's happening um, and I must say, I've also been at customers where they had only two instances. Okay, then it's not possible to do that. To do that, but even for customers that only have three instances, like a dev, test, and production, why not just upgrade that test instance on a Friday and then clone it back in the weekend? Then only for one day you're losing that test environment because you're temporarily upgrading it, right? So. Customers not having that money, that many instances, I don't really see that as an objection or uh, or an or an issue. Um, on the so bottom of this case, list, you did it for test. Excuse me. Uh, in your case, uh, you did uh, for test. Yeah, we did actually the sandbox instance, I think. Um, okay. But that was just because there were two uh, instances extra uh, available. Um, so yeah, um, okay. on the bottom of this list is communication, and actually that is, I think, the most important part of the whole uh, upgrade, and especially if, if you're talking about upgrading in one week. Uh, the communication, do that well in advance, set the, the tone, set the expectations, uh, but also who is involved, so, you know, uh, communicate that on time, uh, because it's so... Yeah, so important. It's, uh, I think that's the key factor in, uh, in the whole upgrade. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, the week of upgrade. Way more activities, of course. Um, 
but these are the, the main points, I think. Uh, good to know for this customer, um, the upgrades usually took like three or four weeks. Now it's one week. Before, okay. there was also one week of development freeze, and this time there was no freeze at all. Um, because, yeah, I showed like there are about 35 developers involved uh, for this customer. Not all of those 35 are obviously working on the upgrade. So right. some of them could just work on with their normal uh, activities. So they could just develop. Um, there was a release freeze. So nothing was going to be released to production that week. But the normal development was still uh, happening. Okay. So are we skipping anything? Uh, if I compare this uh, one week upgrade to, uh, you know, four month, three month upgrade. So are we sk skipping anything here? No, no, I don't think so. Um, okay, great. I think a really big difference is what I also saw at different customers or also this customer in the past, then we would say like, uh, we would communicate, you can test in these two, two, two weeks. That is what we are communicating to stakeholders. But do stakeholders really need to test for two weeks? Uh, that's, <laughs> that's not the case. And what actually really happens, some stakeholders are testing on the first day and are already done. And some stakeholders will even wait until the last day. Mm, and right. yeah, then they're done. So why do we need two, two weeks for that? Right, and that's right. the same for uh, handling the skip records uh, and for the, 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 the several service now teams involved. Uh, usually we would say, oh, we've got one full week to handle those skip records. But that's actually also the same. Some of the teams will start on the first day. Some will start on the last day. Um, right. Yeah, why can't we just say this is the day or these are the two days that you have to do that? Um, and that's definitely possible. Only the key thing is communicate that well in advance. Because if you're communicating that two or three weeks in advance, then of course there might be some uh, agenda issues. Um, so you are you are basically putting uh, developers to work or putting uh, <laughs> stakeholders to work right on time in service now, right? Yeah, this definitely. is the main key. Yeah. yeah, Do it now and rest later. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's definitely so. And uh, obviously there is more stress on the, on the timelines because the timelines are so short. Right. Uh, and people really have to focus. So um, uh, what you also usually see at customers, you're upgrading. But people are not dedicated to the upgrade, right? They are also still doing all kinds of other activities. Yeah, and that's that's also why it usually takes longer. Um, so, but yeah, it is definitely possible. Um, yeah, got it. I got just my looking answer. at the week of upgrade activities, one really important thing that I want to highlight is um, do your testing if it's ATF instant scan or manual tests do that before cloning and do that after cloning and do that also before upgrade and do that after upgrading okay because if you have any issues after the upgrade um, people will immediately raise something there's something broken something works differently and you can already compare it like yeah but that How was already was the case previously. Uh, yeah, previously, or that was the case because of the clone and something with the clone wasn't uh, okay. Um, still, perhaps you need to fix it, but you at least know it's not an upgrade issue. And that makes the whole um, yeah discussion differently or roadblocks or whatever, uh, go no-goes, it, it, it makes the whole story a bit um, uh, different. Um, so that's a really important thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and just short about after upgrade. Uh, for this customer, it was really limited, um, right? We're, we're, we're cloning uh, all the subproduction instances. Uh, we have a retrospective to, to look at all the things that went well and uh, things that we need to improve or learn from. And that was uh, about it. Um, perhaps some expectations you, you could list, like people are talking about, um, you know, having one day or one week of uh, extra uh, awareness alert or, um, uh, or et cetera on the, on the production instance to be um, sharp on any issues and that you can immediately jump on it. But I think that's uh, 
that's the, the normal thing. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't think there's a lot more involved with, with after upgrading. But this is, yeah, high level what we did at that customer um, where we performed the upgrade in a week at. Um, so, yeah. Um, so you are sharing yeah. these secrets and, uh, you know, after this video, uh, people will be very happy and they are, you know, following this approach definitely. Because yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. the way you explained is like, you know, uh, we are not doing extra, but whatever we are doing, we are doing it on time and with the, all people together. So this is the main approach here, I guess. And yeah. it will help. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so, yeah, one question. Uh, how much uh, time the customer was taking previously? Not this one. This is one week. But uh, previous upgrades, how much time they were taking? And what yeah, was the, their reaction after you did it in one week? Yeah, yeah. Actually, the previous upgrade um, uh, was reduced to three and a half weeks, and uh, that was already because we uh, optimized some things. But the upgrade before that, then it was really like four weeks or longer. Okay. Um, so yeah, it, uh, it, it's a huge difference. And maybe I, I didn't tell that, but actually for this customer, we went from Utah to Vancouver, so we actually also skipped one of the releases and that is always okay. that the upgrade does get a bit bigger because of that um, but still uh, it is it is possible maybe it's not for every customer right because it also really depends on how your company is organized if you have several boards several reviews a uh, huge approval process etc yeah then it will get a lot more difficult because then you have to do with a lot of politics which you probably probably can't change. Right. Just look at you can control and just look at the technology, then it is absolutely possible. Also for larger uh, customers. Okay, great.